Whenever Hayakujo delivered a Zen lecture, an old man was always there with the monks listening to it. And when they left the hall, so did he. One day, however, he remained behind and Hayakujo asked, Who are you? The old man replied, Yes, I am not a human being, but in the far distant past when the Kashapa Buddha preached in this world, I was the head monk in this mountain area. On one occasion a monk asked me whether an enlightened man could fall again under the law of karma. I answered he could not. Thus I became a fox for five hundred rebirths, and I am still a fox. I beg you to release me from this condition through your Zen words. Then he asked Hayakujo, Is an enlightened man subject to the law of karma? Hayakujo answered, No one is free from the law of karma. At the words of Hayakujo, the old man was enlightened, and said with a bow, I am now released from rebirth as a fox, and my body will be found on the other side of the mountain. May I request you bury me as a dead monk? The next day Hayakujo had the Karmadana or deacon beat the clapper, and he informed the monks that after the midday meal there would be a funeral service for a dead monk. No one was sick or died, wondered the monks. What does our Roshi mean? After they had eaten, Hayakujo led them to the foot of a rock on the furthest side of the mountain, and with his staff poked the dead body of a fox and had it ritually cremated. In the evening, Hayakujo gave a talk to the monks and told them this story of the law of karma. Upon hearing the story, Obaku asked Hayakujo, You said that because a long time ago an old Zen master gave a wrong answer, he became a fox for five hundred rebirths. But suppose every time he had answered he had not made a mistake. What would have happened then? Hayakujo replied, just come here to me, and I will tell you the answer. Obaku went up to Hayakujo and slapped the teacher's face. Hayakujo, clapping his hands and laughing, exclaimed, I thought the Persian had a red beard, but here is another one with a red beard. The enlightened man is not subject to karma. How can this answer make the monk a fox? The enlightened man is not free from the law of karma. How can this answer release him from the fox's life? If you have one eye in regard to this, you will understand the old man's dramatic 500 rebirths. Free from karma or subject to it. They are two sides of the same die. Subject to karma or free from it. Both are irredeemable errors. The year was 1997 or maybe 98. I was a student at Bournemouth College on the south coast of the United Kingdom. The newly elected Prime Minister, Tony Blair, was chairing the Conservative Party Conference at the Bournemouth International Centre. I was walking around town, and I came across a huge crowd of people, all walking together, snake-like, through the town, heading for the Bournemouth International Centre. Around these people, a much smaller number of people were shouting at the crowd, Ban fox hunting! Ban fox hunting! When the crowd reached the Bournemouth International Centre, they cried with one voice, Listen to us! Listen to us!